wonderful poets. Um, <clears throat> this poem is a part of a series of poems I've been writing for the last 50 years about growing up in Patterson. Um, I have a lot of history. My dad was a police officer for 40 years, and, uh, and I always said I know more than I should know about the city. <laughs> um, and it dates back, I guess, the first one I did was about 45 years ago, and I was with Ellen Ginsberg at a poetry reading. I was applying to Columbia University, and I was having a lot of trouble with the application, and he said, write a poem. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a poem, I got accepted, mm -hmm. but on probation for a year. <laughs> the vote was four to three against me. I started crying, and it then became four to three for me. <laughs> My city of origin, number 85. I grew up near the place that John Holland, a local Patterson school teacher, tested his submarine that he sunk to protect his discovery. Very Patterson. In the river that curled itself all through every neighborhood, at times a gleaming, smooth, glass pastoral moment or a shiny, icy glimmer reflection. Suddenly, especially if you were not aware, behind the late Libby's famous all the way hot dog diner, it quickly dropped 80 feet with a tumultuous, dramatic display. Just shy of Hinchcliffe Stadium, which was named after a white former mayor where the Negro Baseball League teams played in seclusion when stock car racers did not loudly crash. For me, there was recursive experiences of many liminal moments, crossing the bridge over the falls, looking at and feeling its messy, refreshing spray. It mesmerized me with its different nuances, unpredictable, improvisational, poetic manifestations of its intent, and many contextual responses to the weather. A shared holographic connection to thousands of others, from the Lenny Lenape to all immigrants on their way to work in textile looms, building locomotives, children exploited, despite the IWW Wobblies protesting. Is there hope, I ask for today, a Mideastern community thrives where Germans and Italians strive to survive? People of color suppressed, look at what happened to Hurricane Carter. You even disproportionately social economic isolated city with struggling new pioneers with little of past economic opportunities. The malls and the surrounding towns of privilege took away its once vibrant downtown after industries moved south and overseas, resulting in the need for more police, more discrimination, more welfare. Yet, but all this, the Great Falls still powerfully roars, emerging hope, sustaining this city's curious legacy. Thank you.